Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. It was a very slow, quiet week here in Fairyland. Do you ever have those weeks where you don't do particularly much? But they're highly fulfilling just doing the everyday activities, pottering around, getting a few of those little tasks done that maybe you'd been putting off. And it got me thinking about just having those weeks where you rest. Where you avoid the urge to be seen as busy. Sometimes we forget, even with everything that happened and is happening in the world, that it can be overwhelming for our body and mind. And we need to be able to assimilate and just rest Things can take their toll and we underestimate how much it can take from our body and mind. So it's important to give back to ourselves and have those weeks where you just keep a little bit quiet and you recuperate. There's been so much change that we've had to adapt to over the last year. And Irish people know this in relation to the weather. It's a simple little thing, but the analogy is the same. In Ireland, the sun can shine, then rain, then snow, all in the space of a few hours. And yet if we went by the rain, we'd never put out any clothes in the line, which most people do in Ireland. We'd never go on holidays around Ireland because of the rain. You have to keep living regardless of what's going on around you. And you just make the best of every situation. In Ireland in the summer, anytime there's a little bit of sun, everybody runs out to the beach, runs outside, shares some skin with the sun, eager to get a little suntan. We have to keep living life no matter what and doing the best that we can. Taking the judgments off ourselves and just learning from adapting to new situations. I feel over the last year we really need to be extra kind to ourselves and others around us. And as we've shared before here, the more we are kinder to ourselves, it's natural then that we'll be kinder to others. The other thing I've been thinking of this week is making mistakes. We all change and grow in life. And when I was younger, I would do everything in my power to avoid making a mistake. I tried to do everything perfectly. I wouldn't start doing a new exercise or project unless I knew I could do it to the topmost of my ability. It made for a very sad and lonely life. I never really allowed myself to feel some joy in just doing something. Now I revel in the mistakes. I see the power in making mistakes and learning and growing from them. I've stopped the criticism and instead see everything as a learning experience. I'm a beginner gardener, so I make so many mistakes all the time. But that's the joy of it all. 
I get more intuitive about what plants need and I felt this plant needed a little bit more room to grow. And I wanted to put it up in a more sunnier spot. I know you're not really supposed to move a plant when it's flowering. But I'm just going to give it a go and see. I don't focus too much anymore on mistakes I make. I placed all the hydrangea out into the ground too early and so the slugs ate them up over a night or two. I spent a year growing them from just propagating from a neighbor's garden. So it really gets us to remember that everything is about the process. I enjoyed every minute of what I was doing, not being attached to the outcome, just going with what we can control at this time, and not trying to be perfect. So I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Let's all chat together. I read pretty much all of the comments and I respond to as many as I can. I love seeing where we all just are chatting with one another. It's a beautiful community here. Here's some gorgeous little coasters that my mom made that were too wobbly to put a cup on. And now they're bringing joy in the garden. So with every mistake comes a silver lining. And with every change we have in life could bring a different experience for us and some growth and learning that we never knew we'd have. So thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful week. Keep it simple and easy, and I'll see you in the next video.